Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and I'm going to share with you some things that I have really, really been enjoying this last month. So if you're curious as to the things that I'm enjoying, my favorites, stay tuned. So I think one of the things that I have had a total resurgence of is that, I don't even know if that's the correct word, right? I mean, but um, I have always, always enjoyed my YouTube, always. I love creating videos. I love talking with you guys. I love, I love the whole YouTube experience. But this last month, I don't know whether it's been that there's been like some really cool tags or what, but this last month I've, I've super enjoyed my experience. I mean, from the tag that I did and uh, with, with Babs from Take Control Beauty on, um, you know, the tips of living your best life, right, after your 60s or 70s. I thought that was really awesome. I'll make sure I link those channels, that channel below and that video below. And I did um, Susan's tag on Confessions of a Mature Woman, which I thought was really awesome. And I'm going to do another tag on marriage, which um, I'm looking forward to doing that one. So, um, yeah, how do you, how do you have or maintain a magical marriage? <laughs> yeah, I could say a lot on that topic. <laughs> but anyways, I've really enjoyed my YouTube time and I I think it has to do with the content. I really have enjoyed, I've created two vlogs. I really love the vlog style videos. Jay and I, we have the camper out. We went away 4th of July, so all of that. So this past month, I have super enjoyed the videos I've created and posted and the videos I've watched and obviously all your comments and all your engagement um, engagement on those videos have been super huge. So the other thing I want to mention and I'll get on to makeup because I'm going to talk a little bit about skincare and obviously a little bit about makeup but lifestyle you know lifestyle changes and stuff like that. So as we get older, the more important it is that we have some sort of a system in place for our health, right? Or for our welfare and, you know, just being able to monitor ourselves. And I consider myself to be a pretty active, even though I'm overweight, I consider myself to be a pretty active, mature woman. I, I am very physical. I, I don't usually just, even though I work in a, you know, sometimes teaching where I would be stationary. I have a stand-up desk at work, so I'm always trying to do something. But um, I've had an Apple Watch for a long time, and I really love my Apple Watch. But one of the things, and one of the reasons why I upgraded to my Apple Watch last time was the, um, the health benefits. And so firsthand, if I'm stressed, I can tell on my watch. It'll tell me to take deep breaths. It'll tell me to move. It'll tell me, you know, all sorts of different things. It'll monitor certain activities that I'm doing and my heart rate and, you know, all of that. But the, about two weeks ago, we were outside working and I tripped outside. Now, it was nothing serious. I went down on soft, you know, it was a soft landing, right? So no harm done. But I went down pretty quick and it was obviously unexpected and the health benefit or the safety benefit of my Apple Watch kicked in. So first thing notified as soon as I got down on my watch, are you okay, Monica? Do you, do you need help? And I know that if I don't respond to this, if there's no response, they're gonna call 911, right? Because that was the, the way the system sets up. So I immediately said, I am okay. I don't need help so that it would go no further. But that like totally impressed me. And uh, Jay has the Apple Watch feature as well. So, you know, it's a little bit of a, I don't want to say it's a security thing because it really isn't, you know, nothing is going to take place of being careful watching your step. But the older we get, the easier it is to have those missteps. And I just, I felt so good knowing that, gosh, I went down and my Apple Watch sensed it and said, do you need help? So 
my Apple Watch, definitely a huge favorite this past month. The the thing that one thing I want to talk about now, this product was I received this from Octoly, but. I'll tell you, I really love this product. I really do. I think it retails for about $50. This is, I'm going to read a little bit from my notes. So this is MD Restore Eye Gel. Now, it is. Uh, it says it, it's a soothing formula and it glides on silky smooth. I will tell you, it glides on silky smooth. It'll smooth out my under eyes. It'll help depuff them. And what it says is gut baggage, uh-huh, dark circles, mm-hmm, puffiness, mm-hmm, fine lines and wrinkles, oh yeah. And you know, they can all make you feel and appear older, obviously, and kind of like tired and burned out. So um, they say we've got a cure for these baddies right here. And um, I, I don't know if it's a cure for them, but oh my gosh, I really like this. So what I've been doing is I've been putting on, it's very soothing formula. I mean, a tiny little bit of a pump, not a full pump, not even a half pump, just a tiny depression on this, right? And it goes, I tap it in for both eyes and then I go up. It is it is wonderful. I really, really like this. This was sent to me from MD Restore, from MD, I think it's Solar Sciences is the company name, MD Solar Sciences. This was sent to me by Octoly in exchange for a review. And this is going to be something I'm going to repurchase. At this point in time, I've used it for three weeks now. I love it. It has been absolutely fantastic. And the brand story is really awesome as well. Natural, clean ingredients. And if you're into natural beauty or natural skin care, this is going to float your boat for sure. So I love that. Secondly, I've mentioned frownies before. And some of you have used frownies and you don't like the frownies. I love the frownies. I wear a frownie almost every single night. I, I clean my skin and then when I'm ready, I, I wet the frowny. It's like a little triangle. This package is almost gone, almost out. I do have another, um, another one already ordered and in. So it kind of looks like this. I wet it and I, I pulled apart my, my 11s and I put this on and then I hold it in place until it dries. I wake up usually when I have this on, I will wake up in the morning and I don't have any 11s. I go to bed at night and I have 11s, right? Because throughout the day I'm frowning, I'm doing this or that. Uh, I'm squinting into the sun and I have my eye issues. So it's like really I'm squinting all the time. My frownies have been a lifesaver this last month. And I love my frownies in general anyways. So clean skin. Second, um, second I think I've talked about peaches. This was sent to me initially, complimentary for a review. I have used this. I dated this one January 20th. I still have almost a half a bottle left and also the exfoliator. I love these two products. These two products are hands down, gives me the cleanest skin I can have. So I do the exfoliation uh, bef you know, on my dry skin, a little bit of water, and then I wash it, it with this on my, you know, obviously I take my exfoliation off and then I will finish with this. I use a Foreo. This is a Foreo dupe. I have a Foreo um, in the Moni Home. My Foreo dupe is the one I have right now. And this is called Halle Care. I've had this for two years. So my Foreo or my Foreo dupe, I will massage in my cleanser and I just go around my face in my crevices. I love this thing. It, to me, it is totally, totally amazing. Absolutely love it. So the other thing that I have been loving that I have been using now, I can't use all of Peach's skincare system because the the for example the toner the vinegar toner just does not work with me but i am liking their classic moisturizer i use this at night i put it all over my face all over my neck at night i really love it 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 does a great job on keeping my my skin moisturized so yeah those three products from peaches definitely a favorite definitely something i would purchase without a doubt city beauty Ultra Firming Dry Oil. I'm 67. Nothing is going to make my neck look better 
or look good. It really isn't. I've got a lot of wrinkles. I've got a lot of crepey. I, you know, even if you keep, if you talk with your, your, you know, diva pose, right, with your neck up like this, right, which will elongate your neck, make it look smoother. I certainly try to make sure I'd have pitches done that way, so I'm not like that, like this. Um, but still, my neck has a lot of crepey skin, a lot of dry skin, and I, I haven't been seeing, a, like, I haven't seen an, a, an improvement per se, from this ultra firming dry oil. And this is very pricey, unless it's on sale. But I love this formula. What I do is after I've done my wash and all that, I take this and I just go up from my decolletage up to my neck and I massage it in upward motions. It's a dry oil. I love it. Definitely a favorite. Definitely something I would consider uh, purchasing without a doubt. Let's see, this is my lid and lash cleanser. So I have been diagnosed with dry eye and I've had some eye issues. I'm in, I have an eye issue going on right now, so I'm on steroid drops on my eyes. Um, I bought this uh, last month off of Amazon. And what I do with this is after I take my eye makeup off, I wash with this all over my lid, my lashes, really good. This is not inexpensive, but I'll tell you, I, I just feel so much more comfortable taking that last step with my eye makeup using this. I really like it. And then of course, I'm gonna be putting on my moisturizer, this eye stuff. Oh my God, this eye stuff is wonderful. So really liking that. I think I already mentioned um, in one of my previous videos, Big Sexy Hair Powder. I use this a lot on my bio hair. I, um, I'll sprinkle it a lot. It'll give me a lot of body, a lot of a vomp, and I really like that. So definitely a huge favorite of mine. Repeat buy, I bought this a number of times. Another thing that's a repeat buy is my NYX Wonder Stick. I think I've mentioned this a number of times as well. Still continues to be a favorite. Still continues to be something I gravitate towards. The contour, I will contour with this and then, you know, massage it in a little bit. I really like it. Now I also use the Smashbox contour. This was something that Sheila, my lovely, lovely Sheila, had suggested I use quite a while ago and this is definitely something I love. It has a contour, which you can see I've hit pan on. It has a bit of a bronzer and has a bit of a highlighter. So this is a palette that I really like for contouring for a little bit of a highlight. Between this and my Wonder Stick, my Wonder Stick contour is a little warm where this is more of a cooler tone. And I really prefer this for the start. And this I use on different parts of my face. I also will use the contour in here to contour around my hair to sometimes disguise some of those god-awful grays, right? God-awful grays. So uh, other things that I've been doing, I've been working my way through my foundations. And the foundation I've worn the most this month, that I've enjoyed the most this month, is my Estee Lauder. Now, when I buy my Estee Lauder, I buy it at the Cosmetic Company Outlet Store. And... It's extremely affordable. And, um, you know, I'm, if I buy it in Macy's, obviously, you're going to pay a heck of a lot more money if you go into Ulta or Sephora. But I go to the cosmetic company store. This is like sometimes under $20 for this, like $18, um, depending on the sale that's going on. Awesome. So I have one left. I need to go to the cosmetic company store and get a backup. I've been wearing this an awful lot. Um, almost most days I've been wearing this. I really like it since I ran out of my boots number seven and I haven't bought those. My mission is to go through my foundations. So really like this a lot. Uh, the other thing is uh, my hair, my wigs. I've been wearing a lot of buns. I've been wearing some of my toppers right now. I have, this is Raquel Welch. This is Shaded Biscuit. This is Raquel Welch, um, what we call Flirt Alert in the very popular shade Biscuit. Very blonde on me. Um, it's a treat to be this blonde, I guess, and Jay really likes it. So every now and then, you know, this is going to be the wig if we're going out on a special date, maybe. And he and I just want to feel like a different person. <laughs> 
maybe, that I'll put on. So I really like this wig a lot. It isn't something I'd wear to work uh, or anything like that. But uh, yeah, on a special occasion, this is definitely going to be on my head. But my wigs, my toppers, my hair pieces, my little buns, they have, they're always, they always land in my favorites. They really do. And um, I love the fact that you can switch your look up. And I love the fact that, you know, recently I wanted to try a bob, a straight bob. And uh, Marlene said she'd mail me one to try so I didn't have to buy it. So, um, and then I'll do a review on it. So I can't wait till that comes in to look at it and try it. But you know what? I mean, if you didn't have the option of having, you know, the ability to buy wigs and, and things of that nature, you'd be like messing with your bio hair, trying to this style, that color. It would really do a whole lot of wear and tear on your hair. So I am loving all the alternate hair that I have that I can get my hands on. I just think it's been, it's been, um, it's been super, super. Now I have no polish on my nails. I don't even have my rings on my fingers, but because um, every now and then I just go on this kick where I'm going to leave my polish off, let my nails breathe, which is what I'm doing now. But I have really been enjoying some of the different nail polish or nail looks that I can get from the Color Street nail strips that I have bought from Marlene Fab and Glam. So even though I don't have one here to show you, I don't have one on. Um, it has definitely been a favorite product of mine because even though, you know, my nails are kind of uh, right? I love when I can mix up the different nail looks that I get with those nail strips. And they feel like real nail polish. It is nail polish, but it doesn't feel like you're wearing a coat of rubber on your nails. It's, it's, it's just awesome, awesome. You can pick things up with it. It's not... I've tried some before that like you feel like you got a rubber chip and you can't grip anything. So yeah, so that's been my favorites. Uh, Jay and I are going to be, I'm not too sure when you're going to see this, but um, I'm, I'm going to try to do a vlog. I probably won't have it up this week, but the following week Jay and I have a couple of different things that we're doing. He's been doing super on his drone. He's got some drone footage he's been working on. And um, and then we have a trip to Bar Harbor coming up and a trip to the beach that we're going to do a weekend at the beach and stuff like that. So lots of different things to talk about and share. And um, But super excited about YouTube. I don't know. I'm just feeling really positive. I'm feeling really positive. So anyways... Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and come back and see me in my next video. Bye-bye.